welcome to GoggleCam, the internet's first first-person video of how to do lab. I would place the sample into the scanning electron microscope, and the water here is constantly running because that cools the diffusion pump for the high vacuum. So here you see our sample box, and we're going to work on a sample tray and wear cotton gloves so that we don't get oils on anything that could that goes in the microscope because that could gum up the high vacuum. The sample holder, like it says, is in the desiccator in the other room. And the sample holder is basically a series of lock nuts and a bolt with a set screw to hold the, the stub in place. So we take our sample out of the sample tray. Place it in the holder. Use the small screwdriver to lock the set screw. And you want to make sure that it's the right height. So we have a height check here. The sample should be at the top mark, not the bottom mark. So we need to adjust this by unlocking these bottom nut nuts here. There we go. So we'll extend it down, and then what we'll do is we'll lock the nuts together by screwing them into each other. That's how lock nuts work. Like that. Put this base part back in the top part. Just screws in there. And now check our height, and there we have the sample height is at the top mark on the on the jig here. And sample height is important because it needs to be low enough to clear the detector but high enough to be in the focal range of the instrument. Okay, now at the instrument we're going to open up the instrument to air. So we want to make sure this is off. You see the ready lights on, that means this is not on. Push the air button. See, we're green means we're at high vacuum. Once you push the air button, we're now under low vacuum conditions. And you can hear the pump sound changes. Make sure all these knobs are in the right position XX, zero. Then we can pull this open gently once the vacuum releases because we're opening this whole column to air and this is important that this column operate under high vacuum so we want to be careful to not leave this open to air so I gently pull there it goes this is kind of awkward it rotates on this arm here so this is where the sample holder goes press down in there and all these controls here allow us to change the sample position so I'll illustrate this moves the sample in the X direction this moves the sample in the Y direction this rotates the sample this tilts the sample and this one raises and lowers the sample. So we want it XX to exit the chamber, zero. Okay, X and Y don't matter. So now we'll slide it gently back into place. We have to make sure that the gasket seals all around 
to get to eva the vacuum that we need. So push the evac button now and hold this the chamber door chamber in place. You can hear the pump sound in the next room. The mechanical pump is working to evacuate the chamber. That's the rough pump. And then after a few minutes, the diffusion pump will take over and we'll get to high vacuum and the green light will come on, hopefully, so we can proceed with our experiment.